We've all been in a situation when you buy an appliance with a plug like this, with two points, when really your entire home is fitted with plugs like this, with three points. So, I'm going to show you how to correctly install a three point plug onto a two point plug lead, and also I'm going to show you how to correctly join the wire of the appliance should it be too short and you need to extend it because we all know that we can't simply tie and call a cord like this and expect it to work so let's get down to it Okay, so the tools I'm going to use for this whole operation is going to be a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to be using a side cutter, a wire stripper, and a Stanley blade. And for the connection, I'm also going to be using my soldering iron, as well as some solder in order to connect the wires together. Let's start with the three point plug that I want to install. First things first, I'm going to take the side cutter and cut off the two point plug, throw it away. Uh, if you're not going to use it, no use in keeping it. If you want to keep it, no problem at all. Now, firstly, I'm going to have to isolate or to strip the outer core of the wire. To do that, I'm going to measure approximately bit more than half an inch. I'm going to bend the wire slightly and make a slight incision into the to the rubber surrounding the wires. Not too deep to damage the wires on the inside. Flip it around and do the same on the other side. Only slightly lightly make an incision there so that it's cut all the way around. If it's cut all the way around you should be able to pull off the isolation just like that. You can throw that away as well. Now, the three cores of the wire obviously needs to be bare so that we can connect it to our new plug. So I'm going to use my wire stripper and a bit more than a quarter of an inch, between a quarter inch and a half an inch, I'm going to strip the point clean off the of all three wires. And it's as easy as that. So now I've got the three wires Bear. I'm just going to twist the copper threads on the inside together so that they stay nice and neat and that should be ready to go inside our new plug. Now the new plug that I've bought I've already taken out one screw it uses Phillips screws I'm just going to use a screwdriver to unscrew the bottom one and then take off the cap. Now on the inside of a plug They've all got three colors that needs to go inside. If you turn it around, you should see on the plug the light is a bit bright now, but it's got an L for live, an N for neutral, and an earth symbol, or an E for earth on top. Now how this works, the three colors wire, um, in some parts of the world, the green and the yellow would be your earth wire, the brown would be your live, the blue would be your earth. In other parts of the world, the live would be black and the neutral would be white. The neutral could also be red in certain parts of the world. So be very sure to get the correct color configuration in whatever country you're in. So let's look at the plug. Um, we'll see that the neutral is on this side. We can see the end there as well. Let's just put this one back that fell out. So we're going to put the neutral one, which is blue, into the hole on the side here. And then take the Phillips screwdriver once again and tighten the screw so that it firmly holds down the wire. Now the same procedure goes for the live wire which is going to be on the other side at the bottom. Also tighten it down nice and tight. Not too hard to, to turn off all the wires inside of the pin. And then also this is why we twisted the copper threads together so that they can go in neatly into the pin. And not be all over the place and tighten that one as well and that's as easy as that now at the bottom is there's two little wings plastic wings sometimes they're removable sometimes not now the idea is you push 
the wire in between them quite firmly this is a hard one sometimes they're hard sometimes they're a bit softer there we go that's twisted firmly in make sure all the pins are firmly in their place and this will prevent the cord being able to be pulled out of the plug when using it thereafter we're simply going to replace the cap turn it around and replace the two screws as simple as that it could not really be easier well it probably could be easier if you bought it with the correct plug but in a case like this it couldn't be easier this is fairly quick and simple and almost anyone can do it with a fair amount of basic tools and that's it you've now got your three point plug attached so let's go over to the part where we reckon that the cord is too short and we need to extend it now I've already by the magic of the internet cleared or cleaned the other points of this cord like such and also ta -da, another piece of cord which would be the extension part also cleaned I'm just going to bring this all together there we go nice and neat now obviously we can't just roughly tie them together like so and expect them to last for a long time or be steady or safe electricity is a very dangerous thing to play with so this never never is a good idea to just play with it and keep it unsafe now what I've done there is I've simply twisted the same color wires together and twisted the copper wires piece or the copper points together what I'm going to do now is take some of the solder like so as well as my soldering iron and I'm going to heat the copper part of the wire slight bit until it's warm warm enough for the solder to melt like so Ooh, I probably should have warmed up this soldering iron a bit earlier there we go the solder will flow nicely into the copper wire meaning it's a secure connection now easily that's done after that part is done we'll take a piece of insulation tape electrical insulation tape cut off a piece of the roll like so and seal and close the joint we just made together so that it's nice and close from all directions nice thick isolation as well this is solidly together as well with no problem whatsoever so let's quickly do the other two as well all right let's fast forward there a bit um, after you've individually soldered all three wires to the similar colors or the exact same colors and isolated all three of them separately you can put them together and then also use the insulation electrical insulation tape to isolate the in tire joint between the two lead iso outside isolators the thick rubber part that you initially took off you can go back and forth a couple of times with this but for demonstration purposes I'm only going to do it once and there we go this is now a steady solid connection this will last quite a long time it's safe you will be able to touch it people will not be electrocuted when doing this once again if you are unsure about this or not feeling confident about what you're doing with the electrical rather get someone with experience or someone or a professional even to do this for you now this is a cheap and simple way and a very effective way to do this to join wires there are many ways there you get crimp connectors and all those type of things but soldering and insulation tape is probably the cheapest easiest way to extend your wire and to make it easier to reach many places so now that you can put your three point plug on extend your lead you should be ready to get back into action with whatever appliance it is that you were handling or working with so if you like this video give me a like a thumbs up for it and also considering subscribing thank you very much until next time guys bye bye